is gel beauty 87 here and today we're gonna get into the um new juvia's place lipstick and lip gloss now these are the ones i'm gonna wear i have the darkest lip liner in cola and then i have a mauve moment and sis to put on for today's demo but i do have other shades and i will try to um insert that part of the video tomorrow when i add one of the other lipstick stays i was thinking about doing maybe a combination of both just to give like the ombre gradient lip but today i wanted to try out these colors in particular because i'm going to use the um she's in party palette by um milk cosmetics after this so i wanted um a lip that i felt like would go well with it and i feel like the mauve lip will always go well with it because it's a more darker berry tone situation that we'll have going on there so Let's get started. I don't know how well this lip liner is going to go with it, but I was like, since this is the lip liner I bought, this is the one we're going to use. So how about that? Um, I might just not line it heavily so then that way it doesn't throw off the color by too much. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember, how much did this retail for? Oh, God, that's dark. So mm, I don't know how I'm going to like that with this small situation, but like I said, we're going to use it though. Crazy thing, this is that color of my bottom lip line. So it's like, I mean, literally, y'all, like, when I painted over it, I couldn't tell I painted over it because it's the exact same color as my natural bottom lip line. So I'm just making my top lip line match my bottom lip line since this is the exact same color. It's crazy. They literally made my exact lip color, I mean, my lip line color in a lip liner. That's crazy. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see. But y'all, that's the exact color that my bottom lip line is, if you all haven't noticed. That, that's the color, so. Mm. I had a mauve moment here, and the packaging on these lipsticks is everything. Like, oh my God, like, y'all thought Patrick's packaging was nice? Honey, look at this. Like, if you love pink, I feel like you would definitely appreciate this ombre. I'm not even that big a pink fan, but like, I can appreciate the gorgeous ombre on this. Now, it does feel like a little cheap and plasticky, just like Patrick's, but I mean, like, you know. Their price point is a lot lower than his, so I can appreciate that. And it has this weird, like, triangle situation going on. But I'm kind of here for it. It's kind of a vibe. So let's go ahead and put it on and see how I feel about the actual color. Because the colors I ordered, I did not necessarily like the way they looked. Um, Once I got them in the mail, after I saw Fumi put them on, and I think I saw Lily Living Life put them on. But in all fairness, Lily is much lighter than I am, so they looked better on her than they would on me because... They're lighter shades, so they were obviously made for lighter skin tones. But their website didn't have um, any swatches of any of the particular colors on their own, which kind of made me mad because I'm like, I want to order them so I can get them in a somewhat timely fashion. And then they didn't have, like, any swatches. So after I saw the colors I had ordered, I was mad as hell because I was like, I wouldn't pick these two shades. Like, in Vogue and Muted, the ones you all saw on Instagram, I would not have picked those shades if I had actually seen swatches of them on some of my skin tone. So that's all I'm doing is trying to help you all because... I was heated when I got these colors in the mail and saw what they actually look like in real life. This one I'm not heated with because y'all know I'm all about a good mauve, but the, like the lighter one, like the basically the brown one and the peach one, I'm not here for it all. Like I'm upset about the colors I got, but since they're velvety mattes, I'm going to try to just put them on top of a true matte lipstick and see if we can just do an ombre thing because I'm telling y'all. I'm going to show you the colors, um, but I'm trying to get this one on first. If I can stop talking, just focus. So starting off, I like the how smooth the formula is and how it just glides on. It glides on some of the two, like the um that Oshi single color from Patrick Todd I was telling y'all about that was the smoothest one out of all his lipsticks. Because all the other ones are kind of like you know difficult to work with, but this one's nice and smooth. It glides on pretty nicely. Um, I think I might need to put a little bit more lip liner on though prior to putting on the gloss because once the gloss gets on, I figured it'd be you know it's too late. I'm sorry if you can hear the trash people 
in the background, the people that come pick up the trash at my grandma's house just come at random times. At one time, they supposed to come on Friday and they need to show up to Saturday. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, this suburb is just a whole hot mess. I hate it so much. Like, I would never recommend that you move to the suburbs if you move to, because they're just a whole hot mess, and I absolutely hate them. Just absolutely. Okay, so these are what the lips look like so far. They look pretty good. Um, like I said, I really like the formula and the way it glided on nicely. Now let's see how this gloss is and see if it's like one of them sticky glosses or if it's one of the glosses that, you know, just look nice and smooth on your lips and you're like, yes, it's the vibe. And I just realized that, you know, I have on this green dress and it's not matching like any of the aesthetic and the vibe that we're going for today. So we might do a wardrobe change if we have to go somewhere later. One of my friends just texted me, asked me what I was doing, so... I don't know if that means going somewhere later or what. Because I was thinking about going to Chipotle and just not cooking the food I took out today and cooking it tomorrow. Because I do want some steak nachos, but I don't necessarily want to have to make them. So this is what the gloss looks like. I'll swatch the lipstick on the back of my hand in a second, but... I don't know. I feel like that gloss often has like a weird smell to them. I don't know what that's about, but... Like the um, one from Fumi smelled like... Lemon um, Pledge, if I remember correctly. Or was it Lemon Lysol? I don't know. It had a really, like, chemical smell to it that reminds me of a, a chemical I use at home. But, yes, this lip, y'all. Y'all know how I am about my mouth. This lip is just, it's a vibe. It's sexy. It's a vibe. It's everything. Sorry, I'm trying to see what this, if the gloss smells like the um, Fumi one, like I was talking about. It does have a smell to it. I can't, like, describe what the smell is, though, so I, I can't tell you. Um, but let's swatch these on back of my hand and see what they look like. I thought I'd put it in the box after I said I would swatch it like a, like a silly person. Okay. I told y'all I'm tired. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm tired. And I still got a whole eye look to do before I can call it a wrap for right now. And just relax. Um, gloss. Let's see. Um, the gloss is called Sis, by the way, and the lipstick was called a mauve moment, which is definitely a mauve moment for me. But this is the gloss Sis, and this is the lipstick. So please ignore the bronzers on my hand, and you saw me swatch the lip liner. So let me get the rest of the lipsticks. I think they're in here. I hope they're in here, because if they're not, I have to swatch it later. So far, I'm only seeing the Pope of Beauty one. Oh, here they are. I was about to say, because if it's on the Pope of Beauty one, then I can't even do nothing for you, Sis. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the two I have, but I'm not going to swatch these today just because, like, I'd rather have this fresh application for the lips and then swatch it in the video. So I'll swatch them in the video tomorrow when I ombre it, like I said, but this is muted. See, y'all, this is way too light for my liking. Like, I would mix this with a more topier shade, or maybe I'm going to have to, like, put a lip liner all over my lips and then put it on because I'm not, I'm not feeling that color at all. Um, not, no, not at all. Um, and then I have... This one is in vogue, and this is what it looks like. Now, I can tolerate this color a little bit better. It's just that muted one I really just don't like. This one looks like it'll be a little bit more tolerable to put on, and then maybe I can have, like, a nice little peachy gloss. I didn't know if I were going like to like all their glosses, so I just made sure I bought one gloss because I wanted to show you, like, all the formulas. So I was like, I'll get a gloss, and then I'll get a color of each lipstick for my skin tone to, you know, help someone else have an idea of what they need to pick up. But y'all know I'm all about my mauve, so I had to put on the mauve one first. I'm so sorry. If you wanted to see a new one, you had to wait till tomorrow because a mauve moment is what we're having, and I am definitely living for this mauve moment. So, um, anyway, I will check in with you guys later on today just so you can see how the wear test goes on this um, lipstick and lip gloss situation. It's not a sticky gloss. It feels really comfortable on the lips. I'm happy about that. There is 0 0.16 ounces in this lip gloss, and how much in this lipstick? Uh, four grams of product in this lipstick so yeah um i love the cute little packaging of like pulls out your purse and thinking you all type of sexy girl yes now would you pull it out your purse for i don't know because it's like you got a mask on sis i i don't know but you know you could be cute going out so you have to put on the mask that's why lately i've been trying to not wear glosses okay let's stop rambling because i still got to go do this 
I look real quick. So anyway, I'll check in with you guys later on tonight about the wear. Okay, so I have returned. So this is my face after eight hours of wear. I think it looks pretty damn awesome. Um. Okay, so I guess we can start off with the blushes. Um. This is the cover effect side, and this is the elf side. I feel like with the elf side, it's hard to tell from the beginning because the blush is so lightly colored. But the highlight has toned down a little bit. Um, I feel like the highlighter here, you don't even see it exists anymore. But I feel like you can at least see it in my brow here. You can see a little bit of glow going on here. So when it comes to the highlighter, I like the highlighter better in the elf one. But I said that in the beginning, so it hasn't changed. And with the blush, I feel like I can still see blush right here on this side. But I can't see blush on the, uh, what do you call this side? The, um, elf side. So, again, the blush is really light, so it's hard to tell. I'm going to use one of the actual, um, blushes that are closer to my skin. So, on tomorrow, and then we'll see how that goes. This foundation, I feel like, actually looks pretty damn amazing. Considering I've had it on for like eight hours, so I'm definitely liking it. I did go outside a few times to take like pictures of um products and stuff for videos tomorrow, like this eye look. You will see that tomorrow, which will be August the first. Crazy that it's gonna be August the first tomorrow, but you'll see that tomorrow. Um what else? Um oh yeah, the lips. I think this lipstick lasted well. I ate nachos, I ate candy. I had um, stuff to drink, and I ate um, was ice cream. So, it lasted awfully well considering I did all that. Obviously, the lip gloss left some of it, but it's still, um, you can still tell I got a little bit of gloss going on up here. So, it just mainly left on the bottom. Um, I like the lipstick. I think it's nice. I think it wears, wears pretty well. It doesn't feel, like, uncomfortable on the lips. So, I definitely am a fan of that. And I'm feeling it. Uh, the eyeshadow... I think they both last the same amount of time. I think they both look good. If you all remember, we did Lolita on this side. And then we did um, Sheath and Party on this side. I don't think any of it's creasing. I don't think any of it looks bad. I think it looks really nice. Um, Let's see. What else did we battle up? The, oh, the setting spray. So, this is the Urban Decay side. This is the Elf side. Both sides actually look amazing considering I, again, had this stuff on for 8 hours to 10 o'clock now. Y'all know I started my makeup at 2, so it's been 8 hours. I always try to make sure I give you an 8-hour wear test because that's usually the amount of time I hear people wear makeup. Um, I wear mine sometimes longer. I wear it sometimes shorter. It all depends on what the vibe is. So, that's what's going on here. Um, Was there anything else I test? Oh, the bronzers. Yeah, let's get to the bronzers. Okay, so this is the Doppler side and this is the other side. The other bronze, I feel like you never saw it anyway, so it's like it's kind of hard for me to judge it just because it looks like it was really shimmery. And I think my cheek still looks pretty shiny. I feel like back up in here you might be able to see it, but that's the natural. I feel like that's the natural contour of my face. So, um, I mean, it still looks a little bronzed, I guess. I know this side still looks naturally glowing and bronzed from within. So, um, I would recommend the novel one if you're my skin tone, if you're someone else's skin tone. Um, the other one might work for you. It's just because of my skin tone. I feel like it was hard, it's hard for me to tell if it's still there or not. Do you all still see a lot of shimmer right up in here? And back them this way, let me know. With these bright ass lights, it's hard for me to tell. I'm kind of hot, but in all fairness, I turned the air conditioning off. That maybe why I'm hot. Um, yeah. I don't think, is there anything else we have to talk about? I don't think there is. We did the blush. We did the bronzer. Um... We didn't have a battle of lipsticks, but we talked about the lipsticks. We had a battle of eyeshadows. We just talked about those. And we talked about the foundation. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with the face. Again, the brown, the bronze and the blush, I feel like, are a little too light for me to tell. Maybe in the wintertime, they'll work out a little bit better. I wouldn't say the formulas are bad. It's just more because they're so light and I'm, you know, melanin-infused, it's a little hard to tell. But I like the formula of the elf one. I think it went beautiful looking on. It's just I feel like... It hardly exists anymore, whereas at least I feel like I can still see a little bit of the cinnamon one because of its um, color. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, y'all are diamonds. We will do a day two of this Too Faced foundation, so I will catch you all in that one. But the rest of this, we have pretty much wrapped up. Oh, I'll catch you in day two of the lipsticks as well. So, see you guys in the next one. Remember, you all are diamonds.
Bye. So hello everyone, it is day two of testing out the Juvia's Place lipstick. So I tried to make sure I used every color for you all in the video. So that's why I'm um, doing a second day. It has nothing to do with the wear test of it. You all saw the wear in the end of the first video. I'm just gonna put these, one of these two colors on. I, I was thinking about ombre and trying to do both. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but, let me see, compact up there. I'm going to swatch both of them on the lips and see which one I like better. And then it'll help me determine which one we're actually going to put on. So I'm just take the same liner that I had, the cola one. I bought the darkest one they had that matches my lip line to a T. Okay, so now we get that on. I'm thinking I want to use the color in Vogue. It's the more peachy shade. And then maybe I'll try to put the muted shade in the middle. So then that way, you know, we can wear both colors today and see how that goes. Because again, I have on a mask, so anybody can know, even if it looks like red, I'm doing it so you all can see what both the colors look like. That That's the purpose. Um, but I'm really feeling the in Vogue color more than the muted color. The muted color is the one I like the least, so... I'm most likely just about to put on this one. Plus, I feel like it'll go better with the eye look I plan on doing today because I'm doing two different palettes today. So, let's see. This one kind of reminds me of Peach Fleece from Minted. In a more matte form. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling that color. I uh, guess I'll swatch the other color for you all because I don't know if I necessarily want to try to put it in the middle now because I'm really just feeling this color. I don't know, I feel like the lipstick isn't going high enough to where I want it on my lip. And on camera it looks fine, but like in real life, I don't like the way it looks. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch that one in the back of my hand I just put on in Vogue. Yeah, here it is. It is a gorgeous shade. And let's just swatch mute in the back of my hand since I'm not gonna wear it today. Just so you can get an idea on my skin tone, what it look like. It's actually not too bad. It looks like more of a grayish taupey type shade. So if you had like um, a taupe darker lipstick you put on, you wanted like an ombre effect, you could put this in the middle and that'd be cool. But I might do that tomorrow, but um, I'm not going to um, prolong this video another day to like do that. Even though I guess I could because um, tomorrow the um, Too Faced one is going to go up. So it's not like you'd see it anyway. So we'll see. I don't know. But um, yeah, this is what this looks like. And we're doing a wear test on the color the peachy color in Vogue today. So I will update you all at the end of the night and I'll see you guys later. Okay, everybody, so it is the end of the night and I have returned. So apparently there's no saving my nose from being oily, no matter what setting spray or foundation or concealer or whatever I use. Because as you can see, it's clearly oily once again. Yes, I have redone my eyes again for a second time. Um, I decided to do like some high-end palette or some luxury palette videos later on today when I get back. I did four different eye looks that'll be coming to you soon. This is the Scott Barnes Color Bomb palette, so you all will see this eventually. I don't know when it's actually uploading to YouTube right now, so I don't know when the hell you actually see it, but I'm uploading it tonight. Now, on to what we came here to talk about, which is all of this here. So, um, I feel like both sides of the face look about the same, even though you know. One is matte, one is 
the original formula. So I don't really see a difference when it comes to the formula. Um, and this is when I put it on the skin. I feel like they both look the same color, even though when I pumped them out originally, like I told you all on the Instagram um, video, uh, Instagram um, post, they looked like a different color, but on the face, they look the same. Um, so there's that. Um, I feel like my under eye looks darker than it did yesterday at the end of the night. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but we're not talking about that concealer. We already rated that concealer, so moving on. Um, I feel like my blush has stayed on pretty well. You can still see a little bit of it. Um, the bronzer looks pretty good still. Um, the lipstick is still on, which is a shock to me because, like I said, I ate. So the fact that I still have it on Bravo, I'm trying to decide if I want to eat again or not. It's only 9 o'clock, so I might have some um, steak nachos because I ate the buffalo wings for lunch. But I haven't had any dinner, so maybe. I don't know. I doubt it because um, I'm just not really hungry. Um, I think that's all I have for you. That's all I'm supposed to be judging, right? Yeah, it's because I've judged the um, blushes on their own then i judged them um when i did the battle of them with them yesterday so yeah that's pretty much it i tried the um i was about to say i tried the um setting spray out but no i, I used a different setting spray so yeah that's pretty much it there um so i definitely recommend the foundation i think it looks beautiful at the end of the night considering you know i actually did go outside today and like yesterday um the original one looks nice too, as you can see. It just depends on if you want a more matte look or if you're fine with the traditional look. Because I figure if you put a matte powder on top of it, it'll do the exact same thing. And the older one is $2 less, so there's that. Um, but it's kind of up to you. Um, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, y'all are dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.